Good morning, Yarna Bees. Today is, I don't know, what's today? Today is January 9th. Already. Wow. <laughs> um, I, whoops, I just woke up. And I'm so out of it right now. So this, <clears throat> excuse me, this video might be a little off. <laughs> Uh, I just wanted to get this video done so that I can relax for the rest of the day because my back is killing me. Don't know. I might be because I've been sitting so much. So I don't know. My foot's a little sore too. It was kind of bugging me a little last night. I don't know what's going on, but it's uh, healing, I guess. You know. Um, but I'm doing doing okay. Um, I don't have a lot to talk to you guys about, even though I haven't been on here for a while. I've been catching up on everybody's videos, and uh, there's a lot of stuff going on out there right now. My God, it's just crazy. You know, everybody's hurting. Everybody's sick. Uh, Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches. Like, holy cow, she's got, she's fighting so much with this pneumonia and, and trying to, you know, get rid of that. And then on top of that, she's got all these other issues that are happening. It's like, cut the girl a break, right? Like, oh, I just, I, I watched her video and I just wanted to cry for her. You know, I just, oh. And she's, you know, trying not to be depressed and everything and. I had to laugh though because she she ended up she was cussing a little bit on the video and she's like oh sorry oh you know and I was laughing going honey cuss it's like whatever <laughs> like you you deserve to be able to cuss because you're going through a lot right now and you know I cuss I don't care <laughs> well for the most part I don't f-bomb so <laughs> Or try not to anyways and if I do I bleep it out but other than that eh, let it go <laughs> so anyway um, get better you know I, you know take care of yourself like the medications that they have to put her on now oh my battery's gonna die hang on sorry about that battery died as I was saying um, you know it's I just feel so bad for Jennifer because now she's got to take this medication that is attacking other parts of her body. It's like a really, really brutal medication, right? And it's just, oh, I don't know. But anyways, um, keep your chin up, sweetie, because, uh, you know, it's, it's terrible, you know, but you're going to get through it, you know, and we're all here. We're all backing you up. <clears throat> you know, we're here for you. We love you. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's, this is just a small little part of your life that you have to fight through and the rest is all glorious. <laughs> so, yeah. So we love you. Mwah. Get better, honey. Oh, you want to come up? Okay, come on. Come up. There we go. <laughs> Bailey wants to say hello. Don't you? Say hi. <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, and then Rosalie from Yarn It Out. Oh, her RA is kicking her ass. And, you know, she, she's been down for quite a while, um, like since Christmas, I guess. And uh, she's just having a rough time. Man. Oh, we love you too, Rosie. Ro Rosie. Rosalie. <laughs> um, I just feel for everybody. Everybody. Nona, uh, 26. She's had her surgery. She's still down. You know, like, oh, it just goes on and on and on. It seems like, it's almost like our community is the community of, <clears throat> you know, people that are in pain and crippled and sick and, you know, and the only thing we have to do is to crochet. <laughs> oh, say, yeah, say hi. 
say hi. <laughs> you know, but um, it's, I don't know. Crochet is our friend. Crochet for life. Yarn for life. Crochet makes everything better. Right? Right. Okay. Um, she's on my book now. <sighs> okay. Oh. You know, everybody's talking about Australia. And what you can do to, um, to help in Australia. Uh, you can make you know pouches for the joeys you can make pouches for bats you can make like make baskets for birds you can there's so many things out there that you guys can do to help out and mail out um you don't have to have money to in order to help you know um but they they do need help and thank god it's raining there now like oh and the thing that makes me angry, well, I'll get to that in a second. They're saying that, um, I mean, there's been domestic animals as well as wild animals that have been killed. And they're saying that it's over half a billion animals that have died. Billion, not million, billion with a B. Like, that astounds me. Like, and then there's been like 26 people that have died or something. Uh, they've lost, people have lost their houses. It's insane. Absolutely insane. And the thing that angers me the most is that it was all brought on, on by arsonists. Well, some of it was um, um, lightning. But the most of it was arsonists. 200 pe over 200 people have been arrested 200 freaking people like what was this a, a mass arsonist party like I, I, oh it angers me so much you know and i just don't understand what their thinking was on this um to destroy a country like what the hell was her, their thinking on this mass destruction of Australia. I just, I, <sighs> anyways, um, so yeah, so there are, I'll, I'll see if I can link it down below, but there are websites that will tell you, um, what they need and they give you everything, the dim dimensions of what you need. There's patterns. There's a Facebook group that I was on. Um, can't remember the name of it now. But they have in their files folder, they have a ton of different patterns. Sewing patterns, crochet patterns, knitting pa patterns, excuse me. Um, they've got everything that you could possibly need so that you can help out uh, and they even tell you where to they have a, a list of um, drop sites <laughs> a list of drop sites so that you can uh, drop them off and they will send them to Australia so that's wonderful okay uh, <laughs> I watched Joe for Joe's web yesterday and I almost peed myself. I was laughing so hard. I almost spit my coffee across the room. That girl. Okay. Just. Hello. <laughs> Just to say. Um, patty cake. Patty cake. <laughs> you giving me a high five? <laughs> um, that woman. She reminds me of. A, the belle of the ball. You know, the southern, um, pageant, you know, kind, kind of girl who, you know, um, goes to tea parties and stuff like that. Like, she's just so prim and proper and, you know, she just, I just love her to bits, right? Well, lately, I don't know. <laughs> that girl, her naughty side is coming out. <laughs> 
and it's hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. It her in a live, like when she goes into lives and stuff, there's no stopping her. Like she <laughs> Oh my god. Like yesterday in her video I was drinking my coffee and she was talking about quick projects or that that you could just do and be done with. And she says, it's all about the quickies. <laughs> He almost went across the room. <laughs> then she turns around and she says, um, uh, that, that's the perfect size or something. And she says, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I just about died. <laughs> I, I was just like, my God, <laughs> she's coming to the dark side. <laughs> I just, I was laughing so hard. It's just, oh, the things that were coming out of her mouth. I just, oh, it was hilarious. And all I could think of was Madonna, Sandy from Left is Right, and uh, a few others. We've corrupted this poor woman. <laughs> like, we we have taken her down our dark and dark and dingy rabbit hole. Like I just we just pulled her right in. <laughs> oh man. I just I, I, it was it was funny. It was so funny. You have to go watch her video. I will link that down below, I guess. And uh, or maybe up up here. <laughs> but she just oh man, she's sleepy. <laughs> So, anyways, so that was funny. So, and then, I mean, Madonna, I saw Madonna's video too, and she just, she was in a mood. Holy smokes, I was thinking, man, girl, somebody needs to put something in your coffee or something, because you were just, you were, you were in a terrible mood. <laughs> just, <laughs> just like, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I was, oh, I had some entertainment yesterday, that's for sure. <laughs> right? Right. Okay, you have to get down now, because I have to show people stuff. Oh, or you can just sit right there. Okay, all right, you can sit right there. <laughs> um, so, I don't know if, well, if the new people that haven't seen my earlier videos won't know about this, but... Uh, all my, what are you call, calling them, OGs, the originals? <laughs> you guys probably remember in the summertime. <clears throat> excuse me. I was, um, what's in my cup? Coffee. <laughs> and my coffee is stay-at-home dog mom. <laughs> yep, that's me. In the summertime, <clears throat> I got on this. Bag of day, not bag of day, um, secret yarnery mile a minute blanket kick. And I made like, started making like five blankets and they are in my desk, under my desk, in the other room. Not finished. Can't remember what hooks I used. Uh, it's a disaster. So now... I'm on this Ophelia Talks Campfire Cardigan kick. I'm, uh, I finished one. You saw that one. Um, but now I've got three of them that, no, two of them are waiting for the yarn to come from Hirschner's still. God, it's taking them a long time to get their stuff out. It's driving me crazy. Just because of that, I may not order from them anymore because it's just, it takes way too long. Um, then I started, I, my, I have a housekeeper that comes in once a week. And <clears throat> I showed her my sweater. And she was like, oh, wow, this is great. And 
she likes to sit outside in front of a campfire at her house right and um she goes out there and she just looks at the stars and enjoys the you know scenery or whatever hey guy hmm. sorry i've been waiting to get that out the whole time i've been doing this i'm trying i've been fighting it so i'm not gonna fight it anymore mm. um so anyways she i said you know this would be great for you for sitting outside of course the one i made was like a 2x and it was huge on her but um you know, I thought this would be a really nice thing for her to, to have. So I said, what colors do you like? She says green and, and blue. I said, great, I'll make you one. And um, you don't have to buy it. I says, you know, you can be my billboard. Because she lives out in Cedar, uh, out in uh, uh, la, 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 Parksville area, out, way out in the farmland. So I thought, okay, well, I'll start making her one. So I ended up finding, ah, uh, where is it? Oof. The Illusions Double Knit, the Hayfield, there we go, Hayfield. And uh, the color lot is 0304. And I started making her one. Whoops. Come on. Hopefully you can see this. It's got the green and the blue mixed into it. So instead of making it like actual green and blue I thought well this has got black so it won't get dirty but it's got the speckles of green and blue in it then what I did was like I found some um, <sighs> lush alpaca from is it loops and threads hang on I just dropped the band ah Holy crap. Of course, I don't have Billy's grabber thing right here. It fell down too. It's like, oh. Anyways, loops and threads. Lush alpaca. And the color wet, or in the color charcoal. Problem is, <clears throat> I only had a couple of balls of the alpaca. Now, it's really thick. And so it doesn't go very far. So I got like three rows, <clears throat> three rows of the alpaca in before I had to stop. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't have to make this quite as big as I did the other one. So I figured, okay, well I'll stop at three rows well i got the first side done the second side i only got two rows done and just started the third row and ran out of yarn well guess what michael's didn't have any of course so i went on to michael's online <coughs> And um, they had some to be shipped. I've never actually done the shipping part on Michael's. Uh, I've always done the, you know, order it and go pick it up. Um, order it online and go pick it up at the store. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, I've never actually done the shipping part. So it'll be interesting to see how long it takes for them to get it here. So this one is now sitting and waiting. So that's three campfire cardigans that I'm sitting and waiting on. The other one that I start, that I did in the summertime, the one that I did from the latte cakes, uh, 
I went to Michael's to see, of course, if they had the pepper ash. <laughs> of course, they didn't. They never do. So that one may take a while before it's finished because I can't find pepper ash anywhere. I looked online. They didn't have it. They didn't have it in the store or in um, on the uh, online store to ship. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I feel like that one's never going to get done. Ugh. So what does Sandy do? Instead of moving on to a different project or whatever. She starts another one. <laughs> oh, God, help me. Oh, and I start this one in latte cake as well. And I've got a few latte cakes in my stash. So what does Sandy do? She starts another one in a latte cake that they no longer have <laughs> make. So, <clears throat> so I decided that I'm going to make this one um, just with this part because that's how much I have. And I just started making the other one. Oh my God, where's the hook for? The oh, it's in there. Okay. So I just started making the second, this second piece and I'm going to finish the second piece. And then if I have any more left over, then I'll see if I can do any on the um, arms. And this one is, oh, and there goes my hook flying across the room. Oh, <laughs> um, this one is blackberry. So, I don't think they make blackberry anymore. Not that I've seen. Oh, FedEx, but he's driving by me. Every time I see the FedEx truck and whatever, I'm just like, oh, is my yarn here? Oh, is my yarn here? No. No. It's never me. <clears throat> so, anyway. So, yeah. So, I've started making... I've got four <laughs> campfire cardigans going on now. Doesn't I just figure. So here we go again. It's it's weird when I get on something that I really like, like the Bag of Day um, long neck cowls. I made a bunch of them. Like I just kept making and making and making them. Thank God they sold at the Christmas craft fair. <clears throat> you know they were a big hit, but then I wasn't selling them for very much. So, um, I think I was selling them for 25 bucks a piece. Uh, and if you wanted the hat with it, I was selling them for 45 for the set. That doesn't even make sense to me. Um, $25 for a hat or $25 for a bandana that takes more yarn. Like, I, I might have to rethink that. But they went like hotcakes. Um, <clears throat> man, excuse me. I just got this throat thing going on. <clears throat> I'm not sick. I think it's because of the lactose in my creamer. Because I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, Bailey, no. No, it's okay. It's okay. He's not coming here. So anyways, I go on this kick, right? When I find something, I just start making a bunch of them. At least with the um, the cowls, I finished them. These, I... I just keep picking yarn that's either out of stock or they don't make it anymore or, you know, it's like, I don't think it out very well. I just pick it up and go, right? So, I hate that when you start doing a project and then you need more yarn, even though you've got like a gazillion balls of yarn in your stash. George always looks at me, he goes, why are you always buying yarn? Because I ran out of yarn for this project. He's like, you got a ton of yarn. You just don't understand. <laughs> My yarny friends understand. <laughs> so, <clears throat> but yeah. Anyways, oh. And then, George went to the post office box for me. Ta-da! I got another card. I get a sneeze. Ugh. 
I guess I should put my glasses on for this one, eh? My side table is a disaster. It's just, oh, I can't find anything. I got things falling down off my table. <clears throat> it's just a disaster. I have nowhere to put my coffee cup half the time. It's like, oh. My life is an upheaval at the moment. So. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty. It says, believe. And look at the sparkles in that. Can you see the sparkles? Ooh, that's pretty. Sandy and George, may the wonder of Christmas live in your heart always. Love, Christina. Hope you have a very Merry Christmas. P.S. Glad you're healing and doing well. Well, thank you so much, Christina. This is so pretty. I love that. So beautiful. Thank you so much. What I've done is I've taken all of my cards that I got from everybody. And I put them away in with my Christmas stuff. <clears throat> Along with the ornaments that I got and everything. So what I'm doing is I'm going to put them up next year. And I'm what I'm planning is I'm going to have like, um, you know, those things with the lights. The string lights or whatever that have the clips. And I'm going to put them all on my wall, my mantle. Instead of having on the mantle, I'm going to have them above the mantle. And uh, so any Christmas cards I get next year, I'm just going to keep adding to it. I think it's going to be great. It's going to be so wonderful. And then I'm going to, pro I wanted, what I want to do is get a, um, a little Christmas tree. Michael's always has them on sale, you know, at Christmas time or after Christmas. Um, getting a little Christmas tree and <clears throat> putting all the ornaments on there that I get from my YouTube peeps. So, and then I'm going to put Sandy's angel that she gave me. Sandy had left his right, her angel. I'm going to put it at the top of that. So I'm going to have a completely separate tree for my YouTubers. That's my plan for next year. I think it's a good plan. Yes. <laughs> so thank you so much, Christina. That was a that was beautiful. Love it. So I'll put that over here for now. Oops. See, I'm dropping. I'm, I'm dropping stuff every everywhere. <sighs> Life is a mess right now. Hey, I guess that's all I have for you guys today. Short, sweet. Well, maybe it wasn't so short, but yeah, you know, not a lot going on at the moment. <laughs> I'll probably remember other stuff that I wanted to talk to you guys about, but. For now, I'll leave it for the next video. It's a clear, balmy three degrees out. <laughs> uh, I'm looking way off in the distance at the mountains that have beautiful snow on them. They can keep them, keep the snow. I don't want the snow. Apparently it's supposed to snow in the next week or so. It's getting really cold. But it's not any negative 40 or 45 like Laura <clears throat> for Mad Mimi's has got holy cow well she's at the North Pole though you know it's a whole Santa Claus thing so anyway okay guys I'm gonna go I'm bored you guys long enough and uh, I will talk to you guys later